Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. It's good to be back in the kitchen. It's good to be cool. My air conditioner's up and running, and I've got a good recipe to make for y'all. First of all, let me tell you again, thank you for every text, every email, and the beautiful cards I've gotten in the mail. Thank you for those that have sent me money to help me on my journey. I appreciate that. And the ones that just thought about me, you know, you can't put a value on people that are kind and considerate and think about you and care and show it. Sometimes you think about somebody, but it's a passing thought. You don't take time to let them know. And it's meant a whole bunch to me for y'all to be attentive and care and show your love. Now today, oh, and I got a bunch of new subscribers too. Thank you so much for coming in while I was absent. But maybe now I can get some recipes rolling in and uh, share with y'all like I've been doing since I started this channel. I'm going to make a soup today that I have a little friend named Kelly. She's a grown lady. She's a little grandmother, but she's a lot younger than me. And uh, she made this for my friend's uh, granddaughter's wedding. They had soups and all kinds of stuff. I've had a lot of tomato basil soup, but hers was the best I'd ever had. So y'all remember, and I'm trying to think, was it Christmas or Christmas a year ago? Anyway, Troy bought me the little stove tomato uh, pot, and I've never used it. It looks like a tomato. So I'm going to make this soup in it today, and we're going to make tomato basil soup. Now I went out to the garden, and I clipped some basil because I need some basil leaves. So we're going to clip about 14 or 15 leaves off of here, and we're going to get started making our soup. So i got to gather up my ingredients, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my little tomato pot. That was a surprise that he um, had April to order for me. And I'm missing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take a stick of salted butter, and y'all, most of the time, even if the recipe calls for unsalted, I use salted butter. The only time I buy unsalted butter is if it's on sale, and they don't have salted. Then I buy unsalted to get the sale price. I'm going to put this on the stove and let it melt, and then we're going to add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Then we'll do the next step. And I just want it to melt. I don't want it to brown. So I'm going to have it on low and get my tomatoes open here. We're actually going to use two cans of tomatoes. Y'all, it's hot outside. I had thought I would show you the garden, but I'm just going to tell you something. It's hot out there and stuff's wilted, and I want you to see it when it's all perked up and pretty. So I'll do a garden tour early in the morning, uh, one morning soon, where y'all can see. Man, I can hardly get through my little aisles out there because stuff's growing and I've had bunches of cherry tomatoes and yellow squash and cucumbers and I've got a bunch of peas that'll be ready before too long because they're loaded with blooms. You know, I bought me some butter pea seed. I ordered them online. I love butter peas and they are, they're blooming crazy so I hope they all make get this butter melted and get this soup made and I think I think I'm going to make some cornbread to go with it. I think I'm going to do broccoli cornbread. I think I've done a video on that before but just in case I haven't I'm probably going to do a video where y'all have it if you want to make your basil soup and your cornbread. Of course they'll come out on a couple of different days but you'll have both recipes handy. So let me, do y'all see what I did different in here? There's no spices here. I moved the other butcher block out where I could move my, this one back and um, I, I moved my spices around the pantry and I like it so much better because it seems bigger. That was convenient, but this is bigger and pretty. So let me get my little wooden spoon over here and buy, you know what, thank you for all the apron orders and if you didn't order an apron and you think you might be interested in one, a couple of videos back. I, I gave uh, pictures of all the fabric that I have, and I still have fabric left. I, I was able to get two more bolts of the canning fabric. 
So if y'all want an apron and you want to go back and look at those videos, there's a couple that I think is sold out, but most of the fabric I still have a little bit. So if you want an apron or you're thinking about one for somebody for a birthday or Christmas or whatever, you know, I like when somebody gives me a just for whatever gift because they love me. So if you got somebody that cooks a lot and wears aprons, you might want to look at that and order them an apron and help you and them and me. Let's get this. Oh, it's melting pretty good. I'd melt too if you set me in an iron pot over fire. Don't you think you would? That melt, but right quick, I'm going to need about 14 basil leaves. And I went out and picked it. And if they're little, I'm going to do two instead of one. Because you want it to have that good flavor. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, it depends on the size of the leaves. That basil is what gives it such a good flavor. I don't like basil on everything, but I do love me some tomato basil soup. I used to, I guess the first time I ever had it was at La Madeline's. Have y'all ever eaten at La Madeline's Little Restaurant? Years ago, April would take the kids there for their birthday breakfast on the way to school. And I would meet them down there, and we'd start the day off with a birthday celebration. Well. I looked at their menu and I liked their soup, so I went back and had me some soup, and I liked it. So, okay, the butter is melted, and y'all know what melted butter looks like. But I am going to bring the camera over here where you kind of see what I'm doing as I do. Okay, we're going to take one can, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and add it to the butter. It really doesn't take long to make this, unless you talk a whole bunch like I do, and then you stretch it out longer. Doesn't matter what brand of tomatoes you use, these were on sale, and somebody said they were the best. So while they were on sale, it was equal to what I usually buy at trial. Let me get this. Get me a whisk here. Because I want it to mix really good. Then I'm going to just let this simmer while we go over to the uh, Cuisinart food processor and whiz up uh, some stuff to go in it. Okay, I'm going to take y'all over here where you can see what I'm doing on this direction. Got to get my spatula, y'all. Okay, into the food processor, I'm going to put another can of the crushed tomatoes. where the bottom lid hooks onto the sides, there's always stuff that's hard to get loose. But I can do that. Okay, and then we want to add in our basil leaves. Let me cut this down to a simmer over here. On my stove, low is really too high and it's popping out. Okay, here's my basil leaves. So I cut it on down on what they're calling a simmer. That don't look like much, but maybe that'll be enough. Let me see. I might do another little few. Because some of those were small. All right, I'm going to whiz those up. Y'all 
I know I can't smell, but I can sure taste to see if it's real basil -y. Will that be a fair thing? It's pretty good. I'm going to have to put some salt and pepper in it, but I can do that. Now this I'm going to go and add to those that um, were just already over there in the pot crushed. If I can get this off. Either it sticks or I'm getting older and weaker. I don't know what it is, but I'm not claiming that older and weaker. I'm just going to claim it's stubborn and sticks. I really don't mind age. I just don't like the side effects. Okay, turn y'all off and move you again. Okay, I'm gonna turn that to a low since I'm back over here where I can watch it. And I'm, and I'm gonna add this basil and tomatoes that I whizzed up. woke up this morning at 6.15. My alarm system said that one of my doors in the sunroom was open. Well, we never used that door. It's been dead bolted since the day the system was put in. But I got up, went out there and checked it, and of course it was not open. I went in, and well I had already canceled the alarm because I knew, and you couldn't cancel it. It wouldn't let me cancel it. So I called ADT and this little guy ran me through 30 minutes of doing this and taking the battery out and letting it wait and never did resolve it. So they told me that I have to, I said, send somebody out here to fix this. And he said, well, you have to have a virtual meeting first and then they'll determine if they need to come out. And if they do, uh, there'll be a labor charge. I said, I'm not paying labor. This is a brand new system, less than two months old. That door has not been open since the day it was put in, and y'all need to fix your faulty equipment. So we'll see who wins. I do want my system, but I do want them to do the right thing. So hopefully, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, which will be Sunday, they're going to call me from a virtual meeting, and then maybe they'll get out here and fix it. It still chimes when the doors are open and shut or the windows are open, but the sensor and all of that does not work, and it doesn't alarm if a door is opened, you know, when it's set like that. So that kind of takes away a little peace of mind. So I'm hoping I can get that resolved. But I have ADT, and uh, they've had good reports. I searched to see. I'm going to put some pepper in here, and this is just to taste. So y'all would have to do this according to your taste. And here in a little bit, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put a little salt. Ooh, not that big old clump. That's about a fourth of a teaspoon. Do y'all think this pink Himalayan salt seems a little salty to me more than, I guess it is because it's pure and your old Martin's table salt has additives in it. Maybe that's what it is, but I always use less when I'm using the solid pure pink salt. Alright, let me taste again what to do with my spoon. Uh, man, that's good. I'm going to let this simmer so that basil flavor will go in it for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I will be back and we'll do the last little bit of yummy to it. Okay, y'all. You can see it's been simmering for about 10 or 15 minutes. And um, now we're going to add a cup and a half. Nothing fattening about this, you know. A cup and a half of heavy cream. And I'm just going to drizzle it in and stir it. And it's going to get that yummy, pretty pink color. I 
I love tomato basil soup, y'all. And I had another recipe, and I might have made it before, but this was absolutely the best I'd ever had in my life. Maybe it was her proportions, I don't know. But mine didn't whiz up part of it, and it was a lot different than Kelly's. They are the best he duck hunts. They got bird dogs, and he'd been on a duck hunt, and they had a bunch of ducks. I told them they could share. They brought me two big old ducks, because I like to cook it with, stuff it with sausage and jalapenos, and then pick it off the bone and make a brown gravy and serve it with rice. So they were sweet enough to share their ducks with me. Anyway, I'm going to bring this back up to a simmer. Then I'm going to let it cool enough and I'll be getting me a bowl and we'll be trying us some uh, tomato basil soup here in a minute. Fix and dish some up and taste of it. I can't wait. Hey y'all, I am fixing to have me some soup. Let me stir my pepper up in it that you can see on top of it in the pitcher. See if it tastes like Kelly's. Mmm. That is so good. It's as good as hers. What I like to do, dip my cracker in it. I didn't make that cornbread. Like if it's a chip. Mm. That's very good. You need to make you some. And I always get asked where I got these little bowls. And I ordered them from a little magazine that comes in the mail. And the name of it just ran right out of my head. I'm sorry. If I think of it later, I'll tell you what it was. We used to get everything from ABC, but this this is another one that comes, but I don't remember its name. I, I hadn't ordered it in a long time, so I, I don't get them anymore but it's just the right size for a portion and either a little bitty salad or your cornbread or bread or whatever. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Hope you watch all the way to the end. There will be a recipe card at the end for you to make your own tomato basil soup. And I hope that you'll keep watching the older videos and the new ones. And I'll be back in just a day or two with something else. And I might end up, if the kids call and say they're coming, making that cornbread and videoing it. But right now, just for me, I'm going to eat me five crackers. You know, I, I died it all my life. Five crackers was equal to a piece of bread. So I'd eat me a, a can of Camel's vegetable beef soup and five crackers, and that'd be my lunch. So I'll just eat me a few crackers and some tomato basil soup and drink me some sweet tea with it. And then i got to get out and water for two hours in the garden in the back. And hopefully, maybe in the morning, I can shoot a video and show you all how... I mean, my tomato plants are just loaded. My squash is beautiful. And I want y'all to see it before this summer sun burns it all up. So I'll be back. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Oh, and if you're not stocking up a few things, prices are going sky high. So if you can afford it, get your favorite stuff because for long you're going to wonder how you can afford to get some of it. Every time I go to the store, stuff's higher. So... Just be wise and stock your pantry and have the good things that you want. We're facing hurricane season here. There's one brewing now. I hope it loses its direction and don't come here, but you never know. The Lord bless and keep y'all. Keep me in your prayers. I'm doing good. The Lord has strengthened me and helped me and sent people to help me along the way. And that's just like our Jesus. He just takes care of his kids. I'm glad to be a king's kid. Y'all take care. Come right back here around this butcher block in a few days. And, oh, the little willow tree angel that I got. Troy's niece, Amy, sent me that. But it didn't have a name on it anywhere. So she texted me and said that she got me that. She was watching the video and saw where I asked about it. So made me so happy that they watch. And I was glad to know that it was from Amy. Many, many years ago, she came to stay with us a few days, and I, and I had a collection of some figurines that I liked. And we went to a little store, and they had some of them, and she bought me the little bitty girl that went with that figure, and I've still got it. So now I've got two somethings to keep from Amy. Okay, 
Y'all get another. The good Lord bless you, and I'll see you in a day or two.